If you are visiting New York City, you may be interested in the various New York City attraction discount passes. This video will provide some tips on choosing the best one for you. There is no reason to pay full price admission on New York City's most iconic attractions, which can really start to add up. Before looking into tourist passes, decide what you want to see and have time to do before choosing which pass you would like. There are a few options to choose from, each with its own set of advantages and disadvantages, and it's important to understand how each works. For a more in-depth look at each option, read our accompanying blog post. We have a link to this post in the description underneath this video. Option 1. All-Inclusive Pass An all-inclusive pass allows you to enjoy as many attractions, tours, and experiences as you can within a set number of days for one set price. Think of an all-you-can-eat buffet. These are the most expensive type, but you can potentially save the most amount of money. These passes have a long list of attractions, tours, and museums included, though the lists are not identical. And these passes come with skip-the-line privileges for many attractions. Option 2. Pick your attractions. Rather than being based on the number of days, these passes are based on the number of attractions you want to see. By purchasing a pass rather than a ticket to each attraction individually, you can save up to 50% on the retail cost. You're not obligated to choose which attractions you'll go to in advance or what days you will visit. So these passes offer flexibility if you like to improvise. Option 3. Build your own attraction pass. If you know the places you want to visit and are looking for a discount, check out the Build Your Own New York Pass from Smart Destinations. Think a la carte. You don't have to worry about paying for things that you don't use. Customize your pass and then explore the many suggested donation or free offerings in the city, such as our walking tours. And you could have a relatively inexpensive and very fun-filled trip to New York. Option 4. Pre-Packaged Pass these types of packages save you money by bundling a certain number of attractions into one purchase with a set price. However, you have less control over what attractions are included in your package. Fortunately, these packages do include a number of attractions that most people want to see, such as a visit to the Statue of Liberty, hop-on hop-off bus, or a trip to the top of the Empire State Building. Option 5. A Bus Tour Combo Pass some of the hop-on, hop-off bus companies offer discounts if you purchase attractions alongside their bus tickets. These bus passes are usually good for 24 or 48 hours. If you're not interested in all the activities typically included with a tourist pass, take a look at some of these combo deals instead. Lastly, do it yourself. Sometimes the passes available don't fit in everything you want to do. Many area attractions offer their own discounts or even free admission on certain days. And don't forget our walking tours. They're budget-friendly with or without a sightseeing pass. Whether you want to visit the Empire State Building or see the 9-11 Memorial and Museum, there are several opportunities to cut touring costs in New York. Leave comments or questions below. And if you want more tips on New York or other cities, subscribe here and visit our website at freetoursbyfoot.com.